Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at how you can use the navigation mode in the autopilot with the working title CG4. Uh, the working title CG4 navigation mode works a little bit different compared to other aircrafts and that's why I'm specifically creating a video about it. Uh, the reason is that if you switch on nav mode it might not do what you expect it to do. So let me hide the HC menu. So the first thing you need to make sure is that uh, when pressing the nav uh, button here on the top left you can switch between the VOR and between the FMS which is the GPS. You can still see that the preset is still VOR number one which is okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off and then once we're airborne I will show you what you need to do. So it's critical to set the direction first with the heading option right so you can use the heading option like like this yeah right you can set you can see the blue part uh let me shoot a scroll you can see this blue arrow and that needs to actually point to the uh, direction where we want to go to so let me zoom out a bit and then set it to that direction and i'll explain to you why we need to do it like this initially right so uh let's uh put throttle and then let's make sure that the uh, uh heating is on because else the airplane will start to complain and we're gonna go airborne go gears are up and we're still climbing that's, that's good So that's good. And now we're gonna switch on the autopilot. So we're gonna switch on the autopilot and we're gonna use the uh, flight level change option to make sure that we're climbing with a specific speed. Uh, right, you can see now that in this window, uh, the autopilot has been switched on, uh, flight level change has been set uh, with a speed of 172. So it will try to uh, maintain a speed of 172 and it's using the old select mode is uh, not uh, yet activated that's why it's displayed as white and uh, once we're closely coming to the 9000 feet it will uh, switch from flight level change mode to the alt select mode and keep in mind that you need to reduce the throttle uh, once you've uh, hit that altitude uh, so let's altitude. that's the sign and you will see that in a few seconds it switches now to alt Stack mode and then the cap mode because it needs to reduce uh, that we need to increase the altitude again because it requires us to uh, need to push the right button one eight zero almost there gonna press the flight level change mode again you can see it now it will try to maintain a speed of 234 and again it has activated the flight level change mode but that's what not what we're <laughs> gonna discuss in this video uh, let me first uh, make sure that the heading is set correctly because push the button and if you push it it will set it to the uh, heading in which you're flying currently to so changing it to this method and then pushing the heading button which will start turning the aircraft in our case to the right side as you can see uh, in the meantime we're gonna reduce the flaps and one of the things which you see if i now will press the nav mode uh, once we're aligned to this is that the nav mode will not uh, work 
and the reason for that is because you can see the arrow here and that's the i would say deviation from the angle so actually we're flying in parallel to the um that's to i would say the the the, the flight which we pre-configured right if we would show it on the vfr map if we're lucky it will show it uh, you can see that we're flying the correct direction but actually we should be here so what happens is if you now activate the nav mode it will now show it as lnv1 which means it can't activate it because we're too far from uh the original uh i would say flight uh, flight plan or line of flight to the beacon so what we need to do is we need to uh, use the heading option to make a sharp turn or you can of course do it manually because we want to hit that line and you know, what you will see is the closer we will get to the line to, to this line actually it will start to move this one into position you can i would say make a very sharp turn like we're currently doing or you can make i would say very soft Altitude. turn right it really depends on what you want uh, the most important thing is that once we're getting close to it due to the fact that we activated the nav mode option it will start using that nav mode option in the meantime we're at altitude so we need to keep an eye on the speed so we need to decrease the throttle and that's what you can use right you can see the pink line here it might be a little bit hard to see uh, so let me go closer and that will show you if you're i would say increasing the speed or if you're kind of i would say stabilizing the speed so if we would do it like this then it should be fine it can be that if there's some wind right it will i'd say kind of go up and down right the speed is not completely stable and as you currently see it's also not it still increases a bit in that case you need to reduce your throttling a little bit further and in the meantime we're flying to this line right so you can see that if we're zooming in to this line you will see that we're coming closer and closer to this line which is good what you will see in a few minutes is that this line will also start to move it will start to move to the center and that's actually what we want because then we're on the line which is displayed here So let's see uh, what happens, right? So we're still flying, so that's good. Can always, I would say, kind of tweak when by using the uh, VFR map if you're not sure. But actually it should show it here in a few minutes, right? So you simply need to take, take some time, maybe take some coffee in between or something else to drink. And then you can uh, see how the nav mode works in the working title title cd4 here you can see the arrows is, or the the lines now starting to move and this is also where you see that now we're close enough and the nav mode has picked it up so now the heading mode is not active anymore but the nav mode is being active so if you experienced issues with the nav mode where it was not activated then make sure that you're on the line of uh which you i would say configured in your flight plan because if you're too far away from it then the nav mode simply can't be activated and then it will show uh, the ln v1 uh, in white and as soon as you're i would say close enough it will activate the ln v1 so now we use the autopilot and the heading functionality to make sure that we're coming closer but of course you can also do it manually if you want you can see that it tries to stabilize a bit but eventually it should i would say show a straight line and it will follow the uh, the line again so that's good right so here ends this video in this video we discussed how to use the nav mode with the working title cd4 uh if you get the same issue as i had initially that ln v1 doesn't uh want to stay or turn to green then you're too far from the line and you need to make a manual adjustment so you're again closer to the to the line 
or you can use the heading mode in the uh, autopilot which will also make sure that you're coming close to the line and then eventually the Alan V1 or the nav mode should be activated. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.